This is a Zenith 25cc50 chassis. Hybrid. It's got one IC, a chroma demodulator. 6Z10 audio output, like most all of the Zenas. Some transistors that are in sockets. Tube tuner. One thing I don't like about these is that focus divider resistor, it always seems to go bad. This one's got a really weak on the weak side CRT. At 5 volts, it's pretty marginal. If you come up to 6.3, it's uh, acceptable, so it's got some hours on it. Let's fire it up. Let's try and make this a shorter video. Okay. Go ahead and check out the front. So power switch is on. Audio is coming up. Is there any grass or anything? Not yet. A high voltage. Right. Somewhere down here. Controls. Keep picture and brightness range. Brightness. There's nothing on the screen right now. I had a horizontal line. You got a line? Yeah. Is it white or? It was white. It was coming and going. Now, now. It was just there for a few seconds. This damn thing is too big. I can't. I can't do it, man. You need a mirror. Nothing? Well, yeah, a little bit. Yep, there it is. Okay. It's coming and going, yeah. Let me turn the green up. The green, yep, I see the green. Red. It, whatever it is, it's so flaky that... So you see green? Green, yep. Okay, no red. Blue, blue. yep, we got the blue. How bright is it? Bright. Okay, we want them dim. Back, keep going. Don't see anything. Tell me when you start to see there. blue. There, down. Very dim or what? Yeah, right there. Touch lower. Okay, how about green? Touch lower again. I'm going up with green. Okay, down. Okay, red is wide open. Okay, anything? I have. Or no? No, uh-uh. But we still should have a picture. Right? Even if the color is red well. is missing. Yeah, that's what I was trying to adjust.
Alright, well, it's gonna need some diagnosis. Well, basically the way I'll go about this, since we know there's high voltage, is I'm gonna look at all these voltages that are supposed to be on the CRT just real quick. And I have this adapter. So here, hang on to that. Hang on to that. And then we're gonna pull this off. I'm gonna put this adapter in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up and I'm going to go around and look at these voltages and see what's missing the screen or the grid or what might be missing. Come on, come on. So I got the 25CC50 in the house and the problem, the initial problem with it was there was no picture uh, and measuring the CRT pins. The cathodes were supposed to be a hundred and sixty volts each and they were measuring close to uh, 220 which would cut the CRT totally off. The first thing I did is I changed this board simply because I had one and it was quick and easy. And then I pulled the service saver off the bottom and started um, checking voltages and they all seemed pretty close so I just kind of put it on hold and then I was sitting here tonight watching another TV and uh, just kind of decided that I would start pulling some of these transistors out. You can see they're socketed um, and checking them with a diode check on a voltmeter just as something to do with passing the time with the TV on and I came across this one which was right here under this thing which was a third video amp and a transistor should check pretty much like a double diode and here it is right here and here's my meter on the diode try to get this both in the picture at the same time and if we look this is the original Zenith schematic for the uh, 25cc50 and where this sits in the circuit this is it right here it's a PNP transistor uh, without this um, this feeds the video signal down and it loops through the board here I guess that's a safety so if you were to unplug the board uh, you wouldn't get any video probably burn something up and then that feeds into the controls the emitters of these video output transistors are all tied together and that would explain uh, why the voltage was so high because the basically this it's uh, pulling the 250 volts here through this uh, 12k resistor to the collector and then as this turns on it pulls down to the emitter and of course would lower that voltage so checking this thing collector base emitter basically a transistor should check like a diode going between base and collector and base and emitter so if we go from here to here you can see we get about 0.6 volts which is right and then if we go from here to here nothing so this transistor appears to be open and I can 
connect on to this lead. What it should do is it should measure point, about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 from there, from base to collector and base to emitter. And then if you reverse the two leads, it should be open and it should not measure anything from collector to emitter either way. So it should, should just check like two diodes. So I, I, uh, I detect a problem here. My meter has a transistor checker that I was using on some of the smaller ones, but these leads are so spread out that I can't really fit it in there. Where's my magnifying glass? And it's one of those uh, early transistors that, I don't know if I have one laying here, it looks like a, um, it's a little epoxy button looking thing, a little kind of dome top, um, well let me just pull it out of the heat sink. So it's a it's a white it's a white uh, it's a white um, case with an epoxy top. And then it would fit into that heat sink. I can see where this. I can see where this would be bad. So I'm gonna have to just try and find a PNP transistor and stick it in there. I found another one of these uh, that's PNP. I don't know what the specs are on it, but I'll show you how it's supposed to check. You can see we get about 0.7 there to that lead. And uh, 0.7 to that lead and 0.7 to this other lead. Like a double diode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse these. And it should measure nothing, it should measure open. So remember when doing this, you're on diode check, which is a, applying approximately 3 volts through a resistor and then the meter's measuring the drop uh, across that. I'm going to stick this in and see if it works. I'm only working with the 15 volts here, so it's not like it's uh, going to do any major damage or take anything special. Stick it in and turn on and see what happens. Okay, there it is. Let's uh, turn it on and see what happens here. See if we get anything.
No high voltage. What's going on is it's burning the uh, horizontal output tube up because it had high voltage before had high voltage the last time I turned it on Well, flip the service switch. Got a dim blue line, so there's high voltage. So, oh well, I guess that was a strikeout. That would have been too easy. Yep, no dice. So it turned out it was a service switch. Was, uh, I think I got something still wrong because the brightness control stopped working. Um, and the transistor was bad. Did I put the transistor in wrong? Anyway, there's a real flaky service switch, which I'll probably bypass. Uh, and I tried putting the old white transistor back in, and it didn't work. Yeah, there we go. Try hooking a signal up to it. Now, but pray and strip all the copper piping out of their house. If you'd gotten in that vehicle, you'd be dead too, Francine. If we'd left this morning like I wanted, we'd be safe at Lava. Well, I guess got a little bit of a vertical issue. Where's the color level? Color levels all the way up. AFC uh, tint interesting where's the contrast on this stupid thing uh, brightness contrast Interesting, the, uh, wow, it's got a, uh, the, uh, need some vertical work, might have some bad capacitors there, uh, needs a color fixed, but overall not a bad, not a bad day, that was kind of an accidental fix finding that transistor just by checking them all. Uh, with the diode check on a voltmeter. So we'll proceed with this uh, tomorrow. So after about running for about 10 minutes, the color just popped in. All of a sudden, just bam, it popped in. So, uh, 
be interesting to put the NTSC generator on it and see how it, uh, if it produces good greens and all that. And the picture is a little noisy. Uh, could be bad tuner tubes or something. So here we are with the NTSC generator and it actually I don't like what this tint guard does to the color but it looks pretty uh, it's pretty good I hope this isn't one of those that has the kind of crummy uh, brownish green where the golf courses and everything else looks kind of green but that looks pretty good Oh yeah, that's set up real nice too. Wow, it doesn't even need convergence. Just uh, need to put the heat sink on that random transistor I put in there, that PNP transistor, and I think we're, and uh, clean up the service switch, and I think we're ready to go.